Welcome back to the Mega Mart show. As you can see, we're on set today and we're with Roy Fagan from Fagan Fitness. Mm -hmm. So last episode, we spoke about our goals for the new year and that included our fitness goals because you know we want to keep fit and do our exercises. So that is why we brought in the expert. He was with us last year. He showed mm -hmm. us some good workouts and how to use the equipment and everything. And he's back again to show us some workout that is specific to a particular well, group of people or for different needs. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see that today. Hi, Roy. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. <laughs> <laughs> so, Roy, Mr. Fagan, remind our viewers here about what is Fagan Fitness all about. All right, so Fagan Fitness is run by Roy Fagan, the elite certified trainer. Mm -hmm. so Fagan Fitness is not a gym. <laughs> it's more like a community. There's a community of fun people, who active people, mm -hmm. persons who want to get into fitness, yeah. persons who are already in fitness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're a group, or a community, a lovely, nice, happy, fun community. Yeah. Is yes. it an online platform that you use or do you actually meet in together person. in a space all right so we have the online platform but we also meet together at the emancipation park emancipation park is the main hub i would say mm -hmm. yeah, that's where i started and that um the main hub that that repre represents pagan fitness in mm -hmm. some aspect yeah. so we meet up there we'll meet up on the hill sometime that's on mountain spring palisados we'll go all over kingston um for now Mm -hmm. Our own Kingston for now. For nice little workout, mm -hmm. not too rough, not too too intense. Nice little, as I said, fun, nice little exercises, nice little link ups, and a vibe. So, is it the online is every day? So, online. So, online, I focus mainly on YouTube nowadays. So, I post a lot of free workouts mm. on YouTube. A lot of free workouts on my YouTube channel, which is Pig and Fitness. So, I post a lot of core exercises leg exercises, full body routines, all the different variations of workouts that you need. Stretching, dynamic stretching, static stretching. Mm. So yes, yeah, focus mainly on the YouTube channel at the moment. However, mm -hmm. I still have the Instagram page um, and I still have TikTok. You know, everybody's into this TikTok vibe now. So I still have <laughs> okay. a TikTok trip page. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, on, and all of them is Pagan Fitness. Pagan Fitness. Yes. All right. So, Mr. Pagan, it is the new year. And probably you would have seen some new persons approach you because you know how it is yeah. when the year starts. Yeah. So we're looking into getting our fitness goals in, right? So I'm going to ask, what advice would you give to persons who are just starting out on their new fitness journey? Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, as you mentioned, the new year, everyone has this new, year, new year's resolution. I want to get fit, I want to lose 20 pounds, I want to lose 50 pounds. Soka coming up, I want to get slim for soca. Mm -hmm. All right, so the main, the main suggestion I would give is create some smaller goals. So don't jump into the new year saying you're going to be, mm -hmm. the fitter, you're going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're exactly. going to be the fitter, you're going to be Usain Bolt. Yeah. Don't do that, set some smaller goals. So set simple goals. Goals that you can measure, goals that you can actually achieve. So realistic. Yeah, Let's realistic be realistic and about set this. Set a timeline. Mm -hmm. Not just lose 20 pounds. No. Mm -hmm. No, that's not realistic. So that's the main um, that's the main advice I'll give anyone who is looking to fitness for this 2024, this year. Yeah. Okay, so realistically now. Mm -hmm. Say for instance, I want to lose five pounds. And you know, sometimes we have an event coming up. And we have an event coming up in, say, a month. Yeah. And we want to lose five, ten pounds within four weeks. Is that is that achievable? All right. So you have the what is called no, so. unconventional methods. So. <laughs> you know what you can do to lose um that ten pounds within the what, four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah. Yes. But losing so many pounds so fast, you may not maintain that weight loss. So your metabolism will remain the same. What you need to do is you need to increase your metabolism. So it's a science behind it. 
Just losing the weight is one thing. Mm -hmm. However, changing your metabolism is another thing. So Well, I mean, that was the goal. Just to lose, event, just to lose, lose the weight. weight for this one event. So. And then you know <laughs> that three weeks later, another event is going to come up. Yeah. And you're going to put on 15 pounds by then. Well, so you lost 10 yeah. and you put on 15. Is it that the body at that time will be overcompensating for all the strenuous activity that would have taken place over the last four weeks so then within three weeks it, you gain twice the amount of weight Not that you necessarily, lost? but um, you, you did a, a particular workout routine or diet routine for that event. So you're focusing on just an event for four weeks. Okay. You weren't focusing on my lifestyle or going mm. after changes. So okay. after that event on the fourth, not, not on that day, you're going to go back to eating your burgers. You're going to go back to drinking your alcohol. Okay. You're going to go right back, and the metabolism is the same. Oh, okay. So it didn't, your, the furnace inside is not burning as it should be burning. So Yeah, because that's how our right brains are wired. On. It's wired to, to do something repetitive in a particular way. Yes. And for you to rewire your brain to learn something new, you have to just might as well make it a lifestyle change. Might as just well. little small, realistic, yes. goals. incremental right. workouts yes. every day, and just make it a part of who you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, just like that. that's better. A better approach, right? So, what are <laughs> some of your expert. in terms of food now? Because that's uh, that goes hand in hand with working yes. out. What are your top five healthy boosting foods All right, that you enjoy? That I enjoy. All right, they say that a lot of persons have it that you're saying both. Um, is you saying both because of yam? <laughs> Everyone loves yam. <laughs> so um, simple, um, not simple, complex, complex carbs. Mm -hmm. So um, sweet potato, yam, those are good options. I love sweet potato. I love yam. Mm -hmm. However, I can't eat it too much. You shouldn't yeah. eat it too much because it's carbs. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of starch, but it's still a superfood. Uh, broccoli. Mm, mm, yeah, I love broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> Protein, um, it's a vegetable. Like vegetable she's, like, she's a lettuce girl. Oh, you love lettuce? <laughs> so that's good. Green leaf. So um, green leafy vegetable, mm -hmm. always good. So yeah. broccoli, lettuce, spinach. Pak choy. Pak choy, yes. Kalaloo. Oh, kalaloo. <laughs> kalaloo has a lot the of usual iron. suspects, yeah. Yeah, so kalaloo is actually a very good um, leafy vegetable that you yeah. should eat. Mm -hmm. Especially women when you're going through your menstrual cycle. Eat a lot of kalaloo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, they're car complex carbs. You have your leafy greens and veggies. All right. I like green. to, even though you mentioned eat, I like to include water. It's still oh, something you're consuming. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. hydration is very important. As you know, the body is about 60% water. Mm -hmm. So you have to hydrate. You have to give your brain the water it needs, the heart, the lungs, all the, the cells, organs, the cells. Regeneration. Yes. Uh, sometimes when I sweat, like when working out, if you're sweating, yeah, you know, it, the sweat will go in your mouth sometimes. If it's salty, you mm -hmm. know, you're not rehydrating um, sufficiently enough. Ah, oh, that's if a good point. Oh. Wearing, I never heard yeah, of that yeah. one before. Sometimes it can be extremely salty. Yeah. Or just like a urine. If your urine is bright. Bright, like orange. orange. <laughs> Concentrated. Yeah. Yes, you need you're to You're not drinking hydrate. enough water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's water, the green leaf is the starch. All right, another um, power food, super food, protein. Mm -hmm. Protein. I love chicken breasts. A breast man. <laughs> so, yeah, I love chicken breast, and chicken breast is um, it's more concentrated with protein than the leg or the wing or so. So, chicken mm -hmm. breast is a very good um, superfood. Yeah. Yeah. So, even if you're having a salad, chicken breast, slice, dice up the chicken breast, put it in your salad. You're having a, a burger, you still can use the chicken breast, put in the burger. Um, as I mentioned, burger, this is a fifth one now. All right. So, it's whole grain. So, rather than eating processed, um, bread or processed, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you use whole grain. So you have oats, you have the brown rice, you have the whole grain bread, you have wheat crackers, wheat pasta. Yeah, yeah so Quin that's quinoa and all quinoa, those things. Yes, so those, uh, those are my five. Oh, those are your favorite? Food. Yes. Okay. I love all of them. You love all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I like okay, all cool. of them except for the broccoli. Except the broccoli. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> okay, so that's really good to know. Well, yeah. Okay, so as we look toward our fitness goals, right? Sometimes we would think that maybe we should go and join a gym and some persons will say, you know, let me try to work out and at home and see what can happen before I venture off into the gym. Yeah. Now for me, I'm working out at home and I, I, I am very inconsistent. And I believe that if I were to go to the gym, and maybe if I paid my monthly fees, yeah, hard -earned money. it would probably push <laughs> me to, to go to the gym. So what do you think? Is it, is it 
better to work out in the gym or you think that you will be able to achieve good results even at home? All right, so I like the word you use, better. So it's not better to use a gym, it's not better to work out at home. However, um, it's personal preference. Mm -hmm. In your case, you mentioned that you like, um, you need that motivation or that push. So mm -hmm. going to the gym may be your um, best, that, that give you the best results. Mm -hmm. Or you have a personal trainer come to you with the gym. Because they have mobile personal trainers who mm -hmm. will come with their equipment mm -hmm. to your house. Okay. So that will work for someone like you. Versus you have some persons who are shy or introverted and have self-confident issues or so working right. out at the gym may not they. be ideal for that person. Mm. But they will be looking at a different body type and saying, oh, I want that. Oh, I can't reach that. All the negative energy, all the negative vibe. And you know, if you're, as they say, if you're going to slaughter a, a lamb, mm -hmm. you can't show them the knife. You can't bring in negativity into right. the mix. Yeah, so... For a person like that, oh, but there will be home. some sort of slaughtering. What What do you mean? No, we're gonna slaughter <laughs> the fat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, You're going so we're gonna cut down on the fat and the body fat. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so it's all about pers personal preferences. Preference. Yeah. yeah. Because you can still get a good workout at home. You can get your equipment, nice equipment. You can get and work and work out from home. You can at you can attack all the muscle groups at home. You can attack all the muscle groups at the gym. However, if you're on a serious um fitness plan or to like gain or bulk up that's where the better comes in it's better to work out at the gym okay the gym has most the of the weight. equipment the weight 100 1000 pounds exactly you won't have that at home right chances are yeah yeah so it's better to work out in the gym if lift you have up. that strength and bodybuilding goal right okay, yeah. okay. yeah okay good answer yeah. that's helpful so Let's take a break, and then when we come back, we're going to go through all the things that Megamart has to offer to augment and help you on your fitness journey. Especially and then we're going to get moving. Roy is going to show us a couple moves that we can employ for different groups, different categories of people. All right, stay tuned. All right. I'm Chef Samantha George, and I love to buy my tomatoes at Megamart. I can always count on the quality and freshness of all their produce, and so can you. So you want quality and freshness all the time? Come and enjoy the Mega Mart experience where you can get all these items and so much more. I'm Samantha George, see ya. All right, welcome back guys. We are having a riveting conversation with Mr. Roy Fagan here, our fitness guru. And we're gonna go through some of the stuff that Mega Mart has on the shelf to help us on our fitness journey. Yes. So walk us through it, Roy. What, what, what's catching your eye on this table here? All right, what's catching my eyes first is the six pack maker, the six pack creator. Okay. Uh, yeah. So um, <laughs> the Ab wheel is a perfect, um, the perfect equipment. Small equipment can carry in your bag. I have one in my vehicle yeah. all the time. The Ab wheel is a very effective um, equipment for the abs because you have to engage your core mm -hmm. to bring your body out. Mm -hmm. You have to engage it to bring it back in. You see, yeah. that's my challenge with this wheel. I can bring my body out. But you can't bring it back in. But I in. can't bring it All back right. in. <laughs> <laughs> so it said abs, but um, it's still a core. Because even when you're out, you have to keep your body tight, locked mm -hmm. in, so your back don't collapse. Mm -hmm. ah. So that's where the core comes in. So mm -hmm. you have to and that's engage. where the fitness trainer comes All in. Because right. they'll yes. tell you, hey, your back is in a wrong yeah. position. You can injure yourself. And that's another thing. That's why it's good to consult a fitness trainer. Because you can see this. You see the guy just rolling it out, and you're just rolling it out without the right You need form. to have good form. Yeah, yeah. two mm -hmm. twos, back problems. Alrighty. <laughs> so. The skipping rope. Perfect little tool to warm up with. A tra a, traditional. A traditional. It's like, you know. Yeah, from your child. We played with these Double as Dutch. kids. Yeah. yeah. It's a very good um, endurance workout, a very good workout to bank the bones. Um, so for kids who does a lot of skipping, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you know, you fall, you, you, you up and down, up and down, so you're banking the bone, so it actually builds the bone. That's not like yeah. banking the bones. <laughs> My knees <laughs> so, are hurting. So for kids, um, skipping rope is actually good for, for kids. But um, this is good for cardio as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Your heart rate mm -hmm. gets... Yeah. So you can oh, warm yeah. up with about three minutes of skipping or you can actually do a skipping workout. So I have one on my YouTube channel actually. So oh. you skip for, let's say a minute, you do 20 planks. Skip for a minute, the 20 squats. Oh skip for a minute, yeah, so you can check that intense. out. Oh, yeah. Intense. Oh, very intense. That sounds exciting though. <laughs> yes. All right, now for the, this can be used for persons with all different carpal types tunnel. of carpal tunnel, mummy hand, you know, oh, yeah. you know mummy hand. I had the, that. Yeah. No, what Major. is that? 
what camera talk, you get you get like strained muscles in your wrist yeah. so oh. from holding the baby oh yeah. and your muscles are weak hand, so it's like right. it start it gets inflamed yeah. okay. i had that and i had to wear the, the, the wrist band yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i had it from chick v surprisingly oh wow yeah. so the curving tennis yeah oh yeah. wow yeah so i got it so this is actually good to help strengthen, uh, strengthen the wrist and the forearm okay strengthening the forearm is very important for like um exercise like the push-ups pull-ups the chin-ups all the ups. You're so right, because when I do, oh. when I go on my wrist, it hurts. It feels yeah. pretty weak, so I'm yeah. just like, maybe I need to get that. So too. it's good for women too, you know. So it's, um, so you can have a better grip for a deadlift. Yeah. But women do a lot of deadlift. Better yeah. grip for all the exercises. As I said, push-ups. Yeah. Straight arm plank. You need those. You need your your, your wrist and yeah. your forearm. You see, okay. that's why it's so good to get you that's know knowledge so about good. things. Because I, I did not. I was. I would not pick that up. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, I may just have to get that so all right so what else looks good here what else looks good well everything looks i'm liking this thing it's like a resistance band but it has the added um pad for your feet for the feet yeah for support and i do this in pilates i did a couple courses of pilates and lots of stretching with resistance and stuff so what you think yeah this is actually good for um persons with joint issues persons who want a low impact workout yeah because uh, for it, you can sit on the chair and you can use it. You can lie on your back and use it. So it's not a lot of movement. Mm. So you won't be compromising your, your, your knees right. or your, your, your hips. So it's very good for persons who have poor mobility and um, also joint issues. Yeah. Okay. Very, very effective. All right. so you can try this Which out. is basically the same thing as this one, I must say. Yeah, but it doesn't have the it extra just doesn't have the on there. Yeah, so this now you can stand and do a lot of different exercises with this. You can squat, you can do the curls, overhead raises, up to the chin. A lot of workouts with the um, with the exercise bands. It's true. Bands. A I lot, met a guy. A lot. He wear a big shirt, and then one day he, I just have to see him without the shirt, and I'm like, wait, he ripped. Yeah. He's like, all I use is a resistance band. Yeah. I was like, I can't believe it. Stop. He's like, yep, just yep. one thing. He puts it on the grill. Yeah. And he does a lot of different variations. Yeah. But yeah. I yeah, was shocked. I have one in my car right now. Again, so it's one of those things that you, you can carry with you. It's very yeah. and you have and you have different weights. Yeah. Different um. So you resistance. can clip on the different bands. Yeah. Different color bands for different weights. Okay. Oh. You can go right up to forty pounds or even more. Wow. wow. Forty pounds of resistance. So it's very okay. effective. And you have more here. This is a different one. Yeah. Light, medium, heavy. Yeah. And they're color coded, so you can see the different. Resistance, yeah, that you're it's, it's the yeah. three. It's a three-piece set, so yeah. you have all of those yeah. in the box. Okay, and you have that disc there, slide, well, disc. sliding disc. Sliding disc. Yeah. Okay. So you can do core exercises with these. Uh, you can do push-ups with these. Uh, mountain climbers. I can demonstrate a few. I hate yeah. mountain climbers. <laughs> so you can do a lot of exercise with these. Oh my Instead God. of lifting I hate your them. legs or lifting the hands, you just slide. So mm -hmm. just slide, you engage your core. You slide oh, your legs gosh. up, you engage your core. So <laughs> almost with this, like the, almost every exercise, like this. yes. Okay. I could core. see a lot of dancers Sports. and ballerinas doing a lot of movements like that. Yeah. Sliding, Sliding. and engaging yeah, yeah, the core, yeah, yeah. holding up your weight. Yes. I'm going to get there. Guys, don't look at, <laughs> I look fit, but I'm not, okay? She's fit. Don't let the looks fool you. It's genes, genetics. <laughs> and almost finally, we have these walking weights. Walking yeah. Weights. Yeah, just hold them in your hand and walk. And walk. Yeah. This is probably good for the older yes, folks who don't really do so much. You can so sit you can... at your desk, watching your superpowers or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the news, BBC. And just raise. Raise to the side. Raise overhead. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you can walk with it. You can do a lot of things with those walking weights. Okay. Really weights. Yeah, yeah. You can do anything with it. Mm. And, and finally, the Ab Ace 360. All right. So this Ab Ace 360, it's a very effective um, equipment for mm -hmm. the core and the obliques. Because mm. you're twisting. That's why the 360 comes in. So with any twisting motion, you're working the sides. You're working the oblique. There's yeah. a very good workout, very good equipment for the obliques. Mm -hmm. So the sliding disc, you can attack, at, attack the obliques, the upper right. abs, the lower abs. Same with the ab rollers. Yeah. Now this, if you want a nice oblique work, yeah man, see there. So okay. for all the ladies who are looking for the, the, how, the hourglass oh, figure and yes. the, you know, they're getting ready for the summer love body. Love handles killer. You get, oh, love, yeah, love handles killer. That's the love handles <laughs> killer. We have it right here at Mega Mart. So this is the thing that I And love. it's compact too. It's not too big. Yes. Yeah, so you can tuck it away in a corner. In a corner, yeah. And it has a seat at the brands where you can lift up so you can do some bicep 
work yeah, out so you can hold the bands yeah hold the bands with some little solar engagement and to engage the core even more and i'm imagining it's good for back fat it's, yeah <laughs> so it's good for all from Everything your back up here, down, yeah, to the, and your, your hip mobility also. Yeah. Okay. You're still working the hips. Oh, yeah, like so Russian twist. Uh, Russian twist, and it does something. It does, yes. It's exactly. It burns yes. the side, <laughs> and that's what it's supposed to do. Exactly. It should do something. Okay. But you know what? We it. should stop seeing our hate what? and just start talking about things that we like. But you know what? The things they hate is what's good for you, you know? Yeah, like Everyone hate burpees. Burpees oh, is the hate greatest burpees. exercise Oh my ever. God, it is the day it's of my great so exercise mountain, ever. It feels like I'm dying. <laughs> burpees, it's too much. It's too much. Burpees, mountain climbers, Russian twists. and Russian twists. I mean, I don't mind the Russian twists because I know what it can do for yeah. you. But I just don't get the point of why you have to do a burpee. It's just too much. It's, it's too, much. too much. That's a killer. But anyway, guys, we also have bottles here in keeping with staying hydrated yes. lots of different bottles that you can carry with you because it's so easy to forget to drink because that happened to me when i'm busy yeah. catering cooking i will go all day and don't drink and my yeah, sous chef so. like sam did you drink something mm -hmm. so just having the bottle there as a reminder it's really helpful you have the ones that can um that look similar to the fame infamous or famous stanley, stanley. <laughs> um you can put it in your car and carry it with you and yeah. you've brought your bottle yes. sitting on water yes. Mm -hmm. So the food, the fruits, the veggies, guys, Mega Mart has it all to support your fitness journey. Yes. So we're going to get sweating now. We're going to move the table and he's going to show us a couple moves that we can do, right? All right. Yes, but right after this break, mm -hmm. we'll soon come back. We are back and we are about to get into some movements. Very quickly, it's going to be a speed thing. We need to do some workouts for the kids. Couple moves for the kids. Show All right, us. So for the kids, they know that kids sometimes they don't have Second. a lot of form. They don't have a lot of um, the cart. They don't have a lot coordination. Uh, they don't have a lot of coordination and right. form. So if you want to teach them a squat, teach them a squat with a chair. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So have them sit on the chair. Basically, just stand up. Sit. Sit. Stand. Because uh -huh. as I said, they have a lot of coordination, so they might all over the place doing a squat. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. So okay. that's, one, that's one thing um, a child can do, one exercise. S sprints. Children love to run. Oh, Let them all over yeah. the place. Run sideways. Run sideways. Uh -huh. Forward. Back. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. another nice exercise kids can do. Another one is lunges, because they still need to work the muscles, they still need to work the joints. However, don't let them do the, the ones that you move, the movement lunges, the alternating lunges or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep them one stay place, steady. steady, up and down. Yeah, they can do the movement, you know, but just watch the form first. You don't want it to start off with a bad form. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. What okay. Which, which category next now? Geriatric. Geriatric. Like older persons, they know they're home. They're not doing much. They do a little gardening and they sit and they read. The yeah. muscles you know, is a little to... not as what it used to be when they were right. younger. All right. So no exercise with a lot of jumping. So low intensity exercises are good for geriatrics. Mm -hmm. So. Let me some weights. These ones, so these are the ones? walking For weights. For instance, weights, walking weights are, this is what, one pound? Mm -hmm. One to about five pound. You can sit. Raise, forward raise, lateral raise. You can lean forward a little bit, some shoulders. Mm -hmm. Over the head for some shoulders. You can also do the same like the, chi like the children. On the chair and up. Yeah, okay. On the chair and up. Okay. So those are some good exercises for the older folks. For the older folks. Yes. Okay, so you need to get some for me now with my back. For people that have minor injuries, back injury is a big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend? Because you still have, you can't waste away. I All can't right. lie down. That's you true. Know. All right, mm -hmm. so a person with back injuries, I would, I would, my first recommendation would be the Magill Big Three. So those are three exercises. What? All right, so that? Magill <laughs> Big Three. All right, so you have the, the curl up. So I'm okay. going to demonstrate right now. Okay, should we do it with you? You should do yep, it with you him. Should, yeah. Okay, so face you. Yeah. So one leg up. Yeah. Your hands behind your lower back. So keep your hands under okay. your lower back. Go back? Yeah. And so then what? Your head and your shoulders on the ground. Okay. All right, next, lift up your head, lift up your shoulder. Hold it for about seven seconds. Oh, that feels good. And breathe. So it's basically a core workout. Oh yeah, my yeah. core is shaking. Yeah. Oh. So I need to go down. So Sam, you're weak. I know. It's like the protein. I told you. <laughs> I'll do it again. So, yeah. So about seven to ten seconds. Let's do some repetitions. 
Yeah. Okay, I think I like this one. Yeah. Okay. And it's so not putting one. pressure on my back yeah. too much. So you work in the core and not putting a lot of pressure on your back. Okay. So that's one out of the Magiel Big Three. Mm -hmm. So the next you have the side plank. Okay. So you can do the, 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 the modified version with the knees on the ground and just lean up. So basically what we're doing now. Yeah. Or when you get stronger, straight out. Okay. Engage only your foot and So this your is the arms. halfway? Yes, yeah, the halfway. So just work there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tighten my core, they're always telling me. Yes, sir. Yes. Tucking your belly. All yeah, right. that felt great. I like that one. All right, nice. So the third out of the Maggie Big Three, mm -hmm. Bird Dog. Okay. So a lot of persons know this um, nice little routine. Oh, my back. Yeah. Careful. <laughs> so nice form and straight, basically parallel to your thigh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So bring your thighs up, yeah. Right hand forward, engage your core, left leg back. Ah. Oh. Yes, and you're holding that. So your back and your core should be tight. Oh. Engage it. Okay. So you, you have up, you have um, variation. So you can tap and you can start again. Okay. Or you can come back to the center and alternate. All right. Oh. So that is yes. good for persons with right. fear and variation. Yes. 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 We did well. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what do you do <laughs> if you want to get more? What do you call this? What's the Glutimus glute? Glutimus. Glutimus. Yes. Maximus. Mm -hmm. All right, so <laughs> squats. Squats is a power move. Mm -hmm. So legs shoulder width apart, basically, and you're sitting back. All the way down, yes. All is it good down. for my back? If you have a back injury, not so much. Yeah, That's not, not with weights. Not, so okay. don't overload your body with weights. Okay. So you can, yeah, you can do it with weights. Mm -hmm. So, very good exercise for your glutes. glutes so you can you have different variations. Mm -hmm. You can do your regular up and down air squats. Mm -hmm. You can pulse. I don't can, need oh, no more pulse. glutes. Work with I've it. never ever. <laughs> yeah. You, oh. yeah and then there's the jump one. And you have a jump one. Up. So we have many ways to skin the cat. We have a lot of ways to build that gluteus maximus. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And even using the bands too, right? Even using the bands. So you have resistance bands. You have these flat, straight ones. You can also the blue is the, the blue is the strongest one. one. More resistant. You can tie them. You can always wrap them around your legs and do the and do the squats. Or oh. you can yeah, so you can squat down even with a hip abduction. Oh yeah, oh. to help. Yeah. So some of yeah, these bands come already together. Mm -hmm. These I can tie them. Also, so you can get your resistance bands yeah, resistance at Mega Mart. We have very them. effective, yes. lightweight, and can, you can carry with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and we should show them how to use this one. Did we talk about this roller thing? Right, the ab roller. You can do it And this is just workout for like general fitness. Yeah, general fitness. Young, you know, if you can manage. And yeah. to get that flat for stomach. Six pack. So I would say, um, go on your knees. Engage your core. Roll out and roll in. I mentioned earlier, do not make your back collapse. Don't do that. It. Oh. Yeah, let me try. Oh. Let me try. Ready? Yes. Collapse. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you have to keep your core tight throughout the move. And if you have a trainer no, what the trainer can do is can put a towel or something around. And I kind of hold you. Yes. I'm, oh. I'm going to come up. <sighs> right. And that's the job of a personal trainer to help you through these moves. Well done, Renee. <laughs> you survived. <laughs> All right, guys. So with that, we have come to and end of the show today uh -huh. remember we have all the equipment that you need for your at home workout exercises mm -hmm. thank you so much mr roy fagan from fagan fitness right, for yes. coming in demonstrating and just sharing with us today right. remind all viewers how we can find you all right so you can find me fagan fitness f-a-g-a-n okay fitness <laughs> you can find me on youtube where i post a lot of my free workout videos and demonstrations mm -hmm. instagram TikTok. Uh, so you can always DM me on any of these platforms. Okay. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> <laughs> and remember to follow us on all socials at Megamart Jamaica. 
Remember, exercise, stay fit, and it's gonna be a great, great fit, year. Great healthy year. All right. Courtesy of Mega March. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>